Hey, Tony here. For today's October video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of my favorite TV shows that have a nice horror theme to them. Um, first up, I'm going to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've always enjoyed this one. Uh, me and my wife actually watched this series when it first aired. Um, we watched it every week. Enjoyed the complete series. Great storylines, great characters, great monsters. Um, so if you've never seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV show, definitely check that out. And then the spinoff of that was Angel, which continued on with the um, same type of themes, the same type of creatures. Just has a really good storyline. Um, my wife and I also enjoyed watching every episode of this particular series. So Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel are two great recommendations for movie, um, for TV shows if you like the horror type themes. Okay, next up is The Addams Family. I grew up watching this on reruns on TV back then and really enjoyed this show. It's very dark, um, funny, entertaining. Um, so definitely check The Addams Family if you enjoy these older TV shows. Okay, another show that I enjoyed watching was Medium. Now Medium was a um, TV show on CBS that I used to watch every week about this person here who could see dead people. And she would, each week, she would have a different kind of case that she would help try to solve a murder or whatever. Um, so I included this just because of the, the storylines, the dead people that she saw, um, really good makeup effects. Um, so Medium was a great show that I enjoyed watching. Okay, another TV show that I grew up watching is The Monsters. Um, really enjoyed watching this one also. It was right in line with The Addams Family, but great episodes. A lot of fun to watch, very comedic. So if you've never seen the original um, TV show, The Monsters, I would definitely check that one out. Um, another one that I enjoyed watching every year was the Halloween episode for The Simpsons. They did such a great job with the Halloween episodes. I did look forward to watching these every single year. Um, so if you like The Simpsons and you enjoy the Halloween specials, please let me know. Another TV show, another comedic TV show was Roseanne that did a Halloween episode most every year. I always enjoyed watching the Halloween episodes for Roseanne. Such uh, a lot of fun to watch. Okay, another good TV show um, featuring kind of horror type episodes was Supernatural. I enjoyed Supernatural. I never have finished the, uh, this um, series out, but I really enjoyed the horror themes that would take place in this particular TV show. Another fun show that I enjoyed watching was Tales from the Crypt. Um, really enjoyed The Crypt Keeper and all the different anthology type episodes that would appear um, each week. So very happy to have this particular series in the collection. Another show that my wife and I watched was Charmed, um, based on these three um, sisters and the witchcraft and the storylines. We enjoyed watching those. Um, the show just got better and better. Actually, the show got worse and worse as the years progressed, but we did enjoy watching the entire series. Um, another great show, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, a great, um, a great way to continue the um, storyline for the Evil Dead. Really great series if you've never seen that one. It ended way too soon. Another great one that I enjoyed was Penny Dreadful. Um, really recommend this particular series. I believe there were three seasons. Enjoyed that one. Another great TV show was Bates Motel. I did watch every episode of this one. Um, enjoy the series. A great storyline for um, how Norman Bates grew up and um, focusing on his mother. Um, so great stories there. And then, of course, we have Castle Rock from Stephen King and J.J. Abrams. That's another good one. Now, Creep Show Season 1. I haven't actually got to see this one yet. I've heard some good things about it, um, but it is another, I guess, anthology type series. So I do look forward to checking that one out. Okay, one that I saw on Netflix was The Haunting of Hill House. I really enjoyed this one. Um, it started off kind of slow, but it got very interesting as the episodes as the episodes progressed. Um, pretty scary. I, th I thought there was a pretty Good looking, of course, special effects and makeup effects. Great storyline. So I highly suggest you check this one out. I do believe it's still on Netflix. Okay, another show that I'm very fond of is The Walking Dead. Now, I have been watching every episode of The Walking Dead since it first aired 
um, I have stuck with the show. Of course, this show was really something at the very beginning. The first few seasons were really great, and it's kind of deteriorated since then. Um, I have watched the spinoffs. I do enjoy those. But I will be doing a separate video of my entire Walking Dead collection, including all of the spinoff shows. So be looking for that in an upcoming video. And then lastly, we have Stephen King's The Stand. Um, this right here was a miniseries that um, aired way back when, um, with Rob, I believe Rob Lowe was in it, if I'm not mistaken. But I enjoyed this one. I have not revisited this one. I do have it in the collection, so I wanted to pull this off the shelf just to show it to you. Um, but definitely one that I would want to um, see again soon. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you can think of any other TV series that maybe I have missing from my collection that you would recommend me check out that kind of have a horror theme to it. Um, I know The Chilling Tales of Sabrina is a show that I watched on Netflix. I enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, give me some recommendations of some other shows that you think that I might be interested in. I really do appreciate your recommendations, and I really do enjoy your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.